what is up welcome back to the channel back with an unboxing video for you guys today we unbox what should be the howling on 4k from screen factory i have opened it up i have not looked inside yet uh so hopefully that's what it is or this thumbnail will make no sense at, at all um, before we dive into this guys if you would be so kind hit that like hit that subscribe hit that bell icon all that good stuff if you haven't already drop down the description box follow me on all the external links to the instagram twitter letterbox the patreon's on there uh, amazon wishlist on there uh, I don't remember even what else is on there, but uh, definitely uh, I'm trying to get back to Letterbox. So if you guys follow me on there, I do uh, reviews on there as well. Um, sometimes I don't do reviews on here, and I do them on there, or vice versa. I, I, I don't know. Uh, let's not waste any more time, though. Let's let's uh, dig into this and see what is actually in here. All right, so we have. Uh, let's get through the wrap here. We have a tube. We got a tube. And it says it's for uh, the Howling. All right. There is the poster. And here is the 4K. Now we're going to open this up. We're going to go over the features, all that good stuff. And then we'll t go over to the uh, TV for the menu screen. Because that's what I like to do for you guys. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's make sure. All right, nothing else. I'm just making noise at this point. All right, let's dive into this. Uh, open this up here. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone is uh, ready to uh, relax and enjoy the weekend. Uh, I'm sure some of you have to work, but uh, for those that don't, um, have fun. That's <laughs> what life's all about, right? Let's uh, let's get the slip off here. Let's look at the back of the slip again. We'll go over the features and everything. But uh, imagine your worst fear a reality. All right, let's get this sucker off. And uh, inside, I'm sure we got reverse art. Uh, then again, who knows it at this point? Here's your disc art for your Blu ray and your 4K. Uh, you have different disc art on each of those. Of course, I do have this on 4K already from Studio Canal. Not sure what the uh, no, we don't. We don't have reverse art. I think it was uh, was it was it They Live or the thing or something. Something didn't have uh, reverse art recently either. It's kind of disappointing, Screen Factory. Uh, not sure why that is. Um, I mean, it's a collector's edition and all that. It should have. Should have reverse art, uh, especially for the premium price you pay to get this stuff. But, uh, you know, is what it is. You're not going to really, like, look at it that often. Probably. Maybe you will. I don't know. All right. Let's go over the features on here. Uh, disc 1 on the 4K of the new 2021 4K restoration by Studio Canal. There, that answers my question. So it's the same transfer as the one I have already. Uh, audio commentary with director Joe Dante and actors D. Wallace, Christopher Stone, and Robert uh, Picardo. Audio commentary by author Gary Brad Bradner. This too, new 2021 4K restoration on the uh, Blu-ray by Studio Canal. So, same thing again. Audio commentary with Joe Dante, D. Wallace, Christopher Stone, and Robert Picardo. Audio commentary by Gary Bradner. Fur, oh, sorry, Bon Fur Film interview with D. Wallace. Howling's Eternal interview with executive producer Stephen A. Lane. Cut to Shreds interview with editor Mark Goldblatt. I've been seeing that name a lot here recently. Uh, interviews with co writer Terrence H. Hinkles and stop motion animator David Allen. Unleashing the Beast, the making of the Howling vintage featurette. Making a Monster. Movie Inside the Howling, Vintage Featurette. Deleted scenes with optional commentary. Outtakes, Horror's Hollowed Grounds, a look at the film's original locations. Again, I really enjoy those. Uh, one of my favorite features on the Screen Factory releases. Uh, where I lost my spot. <laughs> uh, a, look at a theatrical trailer. Trailers from Hell, Josh Olsen on the Howling. And your still gallery. Again, 
and 4K Ultra HD, uh, DTS HD Master Audio and Mono, uh, Master Audio Mono and 5.1. Uh, this runs 91 minutes from 1981, and uh, this is Region A. Uh, it should be Region 3 on the 4K, should be uh, Region A on the Blu-ray. Um, so they just took the Studio Canal version and um, repackaged it as uh, theirs, I guess. So, cool. 1980 Studio Canal image. But this was an 81 release, right? Yeah. So. Uh, again there's the there's the disc art once again and uh get it back in the slip show you guys the spinage if it wants to go in there there we go there's the spine i think that's upside down but uh whatever <laughs> all right cool let's head over to the tv and I'll skim through a little bit. I'll try to go to scenes that don't give a lot away for those who have not seen the film for whatever reason. And uh, we'll go over the menu screen on there. Sometimes there's even features on there that aren't on the slip because sometimes they uh, make the slips and then they add stuff afterwards. Uh, so it's happened before. Trust me. Um, oh, before we do that, let's take a look at the poster. Sometimes I forget to do that. It's just going to look like this here. Um, but I'll, I'll take it out for you guys just because um, I got nothing better to do, right? If I can get the top off here. All right. There we go. And I, I, I've done it once where I've actually uh, ripped the poster. So let's actually cut the tape with the knife because I tried to do it with my fingers. And, um, well, maybe don't want to uh, cut too deep here all right there we go we got the little uh, paper thing off there let's, let's unfold there you guys go and they should be 18 by 24 I do believe this seems small though I don't know is that is that, is that normal is this regulation size or what? All right. Should be 18 by 24, though. Just, just some smaller. <sighs> no, that's what she said. What? No. No, it's not. All right. Um, if I can roll this up correctly enough to get it back in its, in, in its tube there and it's in its home. All right. Uh, let me know if you guys have seen this movie, what you guys think of it. I know it's a lot of people's like favorite or one of their favorite uh, werewolf uh, movies. And, uh, you know, can't go wrong with old school D. Wallace and Joe Dante and all that stuff. Um, yeah, but let's take a look at the 4K transfer and uh, see what she's all about. <laughs> it's the same as the studio get out, but uh, we'll see. All right, let's head over. All right, guys, here we are at the menu screen. This is the 4K disc. All you have on this disc is play, chapters, and setup. Inside your setup, you have the original mono DTS HD Master Audio, your 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio, the 2.0 Stereo DTS Master Audio, commentary of director Joe Dante, and actors D. Wallace, Christopher Stone, and Robert Accardo. Uh, if you hear any noise in the background, that is the little one I'm eating lunch. Uh, commentary with author Gary uh, Bradner. And then you have your English subtitles on and off. So, uh, yeah, that's all you have on here. Let's um, let's go ahead and play this. Take a look at the quality of the 4K. Let's forward a little bit here. All right. You know, I don't want to give too much away for those who haven't seen the film. Uh, you get your fuzzy screen opening here. Slim pickings. All right, let's get to some. All right. Let's see the quality here. Uh, this looks a little hazy, a little bit uh, washed out uh, at the beginning here. But, um, oh, that's a little bit sharper right there. All right, looking good. Through the view of the, the, the TV, it was, <laughs> you know. But uh, looking pretty sharp. 
not seeing too many issues with the uh, picture quality here. Let's uh, jump ahead a little bit here. You know, I don't want to give anything away. I don't know where exactly it's going to go to. But uh, looking pretty good thus far. All right. Well, um, again, I don't want to show too much. And uh, but so far, everything is pretty sharp uh, looking. And uh, I, I don't know technical terms for video quality. It, it looks good. Um, <laughs> And I'll, I'll, I'll turn the volume up uh, for myself and let you guys know how the audio is. But uh, this is on my 77-inch Sony uh, with the Sony 4K player. Um, both higher-end models and looks pretty damn good. So uh, let's jump over to the Blu-ray. All right, loading up the Blu-ray here. Uh, I apologize, guys, that appears to be at some sort of an angle. Uh, my TV is perfectly straight level and I'm not setting this uh, camera on anything um, at an angle, but uh, I made my floors just at an angle. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I do apologize for that. But uh, all right, let's go over the Blu-ray uh, features here. You have your play, your chapters set up uh, just like the 4K uh, set up on here. You have the same exact options on here uh, so i'm not going to go over those again and then of course you have your bonus so again this is going to be a lot of repeat from reading the back but you have your a look back at the howling interview with actor steve wallace howling eternal interview with executive producer stephen a lane cut to shreds interview with editor mark goldblatt Blatt. uh horrors hollowed ground look at the uh, film's locations Making a Monster Movie Inside the Howling, Unleashing the Beast, The Making of the Howling, Interview with Stop Motion Animator David Allen, Interview with Co-Writer Terrence H. Winkles, Wink, Winkless, Wink, Winkles, <laughs> uh, Deleted Scenes, I'm not sure if I said that on the back, uh, Deleted Scenes with Commentary, Outtakes, Trailers from Hell, Writer Josh Olson on the Howling, your theatrical trailer and your still gallery. So that's that's what we got. We could take a look at the still gallery, right? Can we do that? Use uh, left and oh, use your. Uh, I don't know how to work a remote. Yeah, it's a uh, it, it's a still gallery, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Uh, to the menu here and uh let's uh take a look at the quality of the new blu-ray transfer go ahead and skip ahead here all right um this is the exact same scene i played on there i'll, I'll say right off the bat the 4k pops a little bit more guys i I'm noticing uh, quite a bit of difference here between the Blu-ray and the 4K, which is pretty rare. Um, when they do a new 4K uh, transfer of the on the Blu-ray compared to the 4K Ultra HD disc, they're usually pretty neck and neck. But I can already tell you that the image on the 4K was a lot sharper um, than the Blu-ray. Yeah, it definitely pops a lot more. Again, I don't know technical terms very well, but I'll just say it pops it. It's it's more vivid on the on the 4K. So all right, guys. I, again, I don't want to give too much away. Thank you for watching. Um, again, hit that like, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys picked this up. If you guys have watched it yet, mine just came today. So uh, maybe get yours earlier for review or something. I I I, I don't know. Um, I, I wish I got stuff from Stream Factory for review. That'd be great. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, all right, guys, that's that's it. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. As always, peace, love, and happiness to all of you, and uh, later.